when i was criticized first first time i played for india i was criticized for uh, not being disciplined and um, not being uh, that focused as i had to be so i ignored that in the first uh, part was i thought okay i'm going to perform so all these things don't have to bother me but yeah i mean if, if someone criticizes you it's, it's better to actually you know take the criticism and look into it if something's wrong you, you try to correct it rather than just being blunt and just ignoring the world and um, yeah I, i looked upon it um, because i was out of the team after that for a while and um, i sat and i i analyzed what i did wrong and uh, improved on a lot of things and uh, it was it was good that i decided to take that criticism and actually um, change the stuff i needed to. it's not easy uh, i mean if you ask me do i get affected by failure yes i do everyone does i'm human at the end of the day so it's it's difficult to process uh, failure at such a big stage but also you have to understand that you know i totally believe in the fact that what's meant to be for you will happen all we can do is work hard and put in our best effort as long as your intent is right your heart is in the right place and you're going along the right path and you're doing things with the with the right intent that's all you can do because no one wants to go out there and fail or not succeed or you know have moments like this no one wants to do that no one wants to experience that but success and failure is a part of everything that we do whether it's sport whether it's you know in, in daily life whether you lose someone close to you whether you know it's, it's a problem in your job any it is the truth of life and you need to be able to accept both with grace that's the thing that i've learned you can't go gung ho when you succeed you can't say oh i'm i'm the king of the world or you know we are invincible now and when you fail you can't beat yourself down so much that you can't get up again so you need to feel the hurt you need to feel where could i have done things differently i think failure is a great way or a great opportunity to analyze what went wrong and to improve on those mistakes life is all about that it's it's about making mistakes on a regular basis but having the courage and the acceptance and the clarity to say okay i have made a mistake i'm not going to be egoistic about it i'm going to lay it down understand what happened improve on it and walk forward because you know people say things people attack you if you start focusing on that you cannot progress because those are opinions those are things that are happening on the outside uh, you know what opinion you hold you know the intent you played with and you need to be true to that if you focus on things which are only based on success and numbers and results i don't think you can enjoy the process and we as a team we play so well because we enjoy the process we enjoy being in difficult situations and coming out on top basically what we are doing on a daily basis is competing with ourselves how good can we be when we are put under pressure it's not about coming up against someone or trying to prove someone else wrong it's about bringing our own standard of cricket higher and higher on a daily basis and setting examples the right examples for the next generation to take over i just hate losing you know i basically i i hate losing in anything that is how a sportsman is is made up you know that is the make up of, of any sportsman competing at the highest level so that's that's a given no one no one is fine with losing or fine with you know failing you accept it you process it that's different but the most important thing for me in you know anything i do on the field is i don't want to walk out and say maybe i could have done this i don't want any maybes i don't want any what ifs when i step out to that field it's a privilege it's an honor for me and when i walk out i want to have zero energy left because that is what i'm supposed to do that is why i'm selected i'm not selected because you know i'm privileged or you know i should be comforted because i've reached the highest level no however hard i've worked for age group cricket this has to be a constant 10 times a hard working process on a daily basis because i'm representing my country and there couldn't be a bigger honor for me so i understand the importance of where i've come from and the opportunity i have every time that i step onto the field i don't want to left to leave any stone unturned like you know it's i hate having the feeling of maybe i could have gone for that catch maybe i could have pushed an extra you know yard for an extra run i i just that i somehow can't process so it is i'm i'm actually always trying to avoid that feeling and that's why i you know go along about my work in a crazy manner where i just have to put all my effort into every ball that i play field or i'm a part of